Hello, let's see if I understand your question right. Okay, so uh, in a closed system, you're correct. The U.S. banks would just lend to U.S. Uh, businesses and U.S. borrowers, and it, those transactions would all be done uh, with cash. However, uh, you're picking up on the fact that we live in a global economy, and there's different types of currencies that banks might run into. Okay, so uh, you should have seen the video on the Forex market. You can actually go here and see the Forex market. So this is, uh, say, dollar to euros. Let's uh, click on that. And this is going to give us the price of a dollar in terms of euros. So it takes 0.91 euros to make one dollar, uh, and one euro is going to be 1.09. So they're pretty close. They're not exactly the same. Uh, you can find this for all kinds of different currencies. Uh, what about Chinese currency? Sorry about okay, so let's look at the Chinese yuan. It used to be six, now it's seven. Okay, so one dollar gets you seven Chinese currency units and uh, takes uh, 14 cents to get one Chinese currency unit. You can actually see it charted out so uh, you can see the changes over time. I wonder as our crisis happens, hasn't changed it too much so that's kind of interesting since February so uh, not too much different there. Alright, anyway so banks get a hold of uh, different kinds of currency, so do businesses. Okay, so um, here's Citibank. You can you can pull up really any bank uh, and see what how much foreign reserve they have. You can also look at a foreign bank and see how many dollars they have. So uh, even banks are truly global. So here we've got uh, Citigroup talking about their holdings in Latin America and Asia, what they've got there. They've got retail banks. Uh, then they've got investment banking. That's what you're talking about. So they're lending. Uh, there, they'll also um, the equity markets. Those are stocks. So they're they're buying and selling bonds and stocks and making loans in currency all over the world. So they, you can get a hold of it in this document. This is their 2018 um, quarterly report. You can um, you can read. You know, any bank is going to have it. They'll tell you exactly how much they have. So a smaller bank is going to have less foreign reserve and a bigger bank's going to have more foreign reserve. So that's the bank part of the question. Uh, and then finally the last part of your question um, is is that if I say I'm Walmart, right, and I, I buy something from a Chinese manufacturer, okay, I'm going to send the, I'm going to buy those with dollars because I'm Walmart and I'm an American company. So those dollars go over to China. And if I'm a Chinese company, I got to do something with those dollars. So I could take it over here to the, the Forex market, trade them back in for uh, my, my Chinese currency, or I could, I could do something with the dollars um, because that's just a one-to-one -one trade, right? Uh, I could take those dollars and I could advertise in the United States or I could open up a manufacturing facility uh, in the United States. I could uh, advertise, I could hire people, truckers or whatever. Um, so that when they do that, it's called direct foreign investment. Okay, so that's a term that uh, economists use there. And you can actually see this. Let's do Ford plants in Europe. So Ford is an American business, uh, but they have facilities in Europe. They have facilities in, I guess I went to the maps. I don't want to see that. I want to see, let just look at images here. There we go. So Ford has plants all over the world, and the reason they do is if they sell cars to a European firm, European firm is going to send euros back to Ford. Well, Ford isn't a uh, uh, European co uh, company, right? So then they're going to uh, just buy a plant back here, and then it becomes easier to, to produce. Uh, there you can see Nissan is in Europe. Uh, there's Tesla, it's an American company, is in Europe. Uh, Samsung, Korean company. So this happens all over the place and that's that's how it happens. So it's connected to the, the value of the currency. Good question.